It is Raining Ravens back with another Raven broadcast. Uh, about a month ago when Madden first came out, uh, I came out with a Madden 17 Baltimore Ravens depth chart setup video. Uh, as you can imagine, there's been multiple roster updates since then, and I wanted to kind of give you guys a follow-up uh, on that video since that video is now outdated. I'm going to give you an updated lineup. This is going to be a lot quicker than my previous video, which was about 10 minutes. I'm just going to run through. Everything's already set up. I'm going to run through my roster and show you exactly what it looks like. So, at quarterback, obviously running Joe Flacco, uh, Ryan Mallett, and David Fales. Perfect. Running back, we got Justin Forsett, Terrence West. I'm going to give Terrence West a slight edge over Buck Allen. Okay, that's just because of the strength. Strength is big for running back. Uh, fullback, obviously one of the best fullbacks in the league. My boy, Kyle Juszczyk. Wide receivers, this is solely based on preference. It depends on what kind of offense you run. Uh, me personally, I like to run a high speed offense, meaning I like to have a lot of speedy guys out there. While Steve Smith Sr. is not the speediest, boy oh boy can he catch. And for that reason alone, he's my number one guy. Uh, my number two receiver is Brashad Perriman. Uh, number three is Mike Wallace, uh, followed up by Kamar Aiken. Devin Hester and Chris Moore rarely ever see the field. Uh, but this lineup right here, these, these four guys right here, man, that's a lot of speed. You're going to find someone open <laughs> about 90% of the time. The defenses can't contain this much speed. Uh, moving on to tight ends, we got De uh, Dennis Pitta, number one, obviously, followed up by Max Williams. Okay, uh, and also depends on preference as well. I run a two tight end system, so this is perfect for me. Left tackle, Ronnie Stanley, backed up by James Hurst. Left guard, John Urschel, backed up by Ryan Jensen. Center, Jeremy Zutta. Right guard, Marshall Yanda, backed up by Ryan Jensen. Right tackle, Rick Wagner, backed up by Ryan Jensen. Ryan Jensen, he's uh, he'll rarely ever see the field as well. Uh, these offensive linemen we got this year, man, they're freaking awesome. They are awesome in this game. Uh, left end, here's where things get interesting. This is why you clicked on this video, I assume. So, I'm using Elvis Doomerville and Terrell Suggs as rushing defensive ends. I figure there's a lot of talent on the middle linebacker crew where I can afford to lose these guys as middle linebackers and put them up on my line. Because, watch this, and I've showed you guys on my previous video too. Um, what is it at? Look at that. Look at that power move and finesse move. That's crazy. If we scroll down a little bit here, you see Terrell Suggs. He's got a 97 power move. That's why. I have Terrell Suggs, 97 power move, and Elvis Doomerville, 96 finesse move. So at the left end position, we're going to let Elvis Doomerville get the start, and he'll be backed up by Timmy Jernigan and Bronson Kafusi. At the right end spot, like I said, we're going to move Terrell Suggs there because he's got a 97 finesse, okay? Or no, 97 power move. So he'll be the starter for the right end, followed up by Lawrence Guy and Bronson Kafusi. Uh, defensive tackle, Brandon Williams, Carl Davis. Um, actually, I'm going to make a change here on the fly. We're going to move uh, Timmy Jernigan up. Yeah, we're going to move Timmy Jernigan up. Okay, uh, and that's and then Lawrence Guy. That, I'm gonna move him up too. Sorry about that. So that's my lineup that I'm happy with for my defensive tackles. Set it up just like that. Um, left outside linebacker Zachary Orr. Man, this guy's been proven to everybody that he's a talent. Do not sleep on Zachary Orr. Uh, probably by the time this video comes out, there'll be another roster update. Uh, increasing his stats because man he played a great game against Cleveland uh, and by the way that's when I'm releasing this video is right after that uh, Baltimore Ravens uh, and Cleveland Browns game week two so Zachary Orr at the left outside linebacker position followed up by Zadarius Smith and Chris Carter middle linebacker this one's a no-brainer CJ Mosley uh, backed up by Kamale Correa 
and Albert McClellan. Right outside linebacker, we're going to make Kamale Correa the starting out, right outside linebacker, um, followed up by Chris Carter and Zadaria Smith. The rest of the stuff here is honestly whatever you feel like doing. Uh, depends, like I said, on the system you run. I like Sharice Wright. Now, there's a lot of Ravens fans that are kind of split or they're on the fence about it, whether or not they like him or if they don't like him. I like him. I think he's fast. He's instinctive. He knows, um, he, you know, he knows what's going on. His awareness is not that high in this game, but you can tell by watching him in real life. He knows what's going on. So uh, I, I'm going to leave him in as a starter. He's going to be my number two. Uh, it'll be Jimmy Smith, Sharice Wright, Kyle Arrington, uh, Webby. I'm going to actually demote him, make him number five, and it'll be Gerard Powers. The reason why I uh, benched Webby is because, okay, so free safety is right there, Eric Weddle. That's why. Ladarius Webb is my starting strong safety, uh, just like it is in real life. Now, you might be wondering, why do I have Kendrick Lewis backing up Webby when Kendrick Lewis has a 79 overall and Webby's a 78 overall. This is why. Webby's got an 89 speed, whereas Kendrick Lewis has an 80. When you're going up against some really fast-paced offenses with talented offenses, speed kills. There's no counter for speed in Madden. You gotta have speed out there, and that's why I chose Ladarius Webb. Kicker, the best in the league. Punter, the best in the league. Kick returner, one of the former best in the league, possibly one of the top 10 kick returners still in the league, Devin Hester. Devin Hester is my main kick returner and punt returner. So hopefully I didn't take up too much of your time with this video. That's just my updated lineup. As we get uh, going, uh, maybe you guys can let me know in the chat if you'd like this idea. But maybe every couple weeks, two to three weeks, or maybe every month, I'll release one of these roster update to the update video. Kind of letting you guys know, hey, here's uh, what the roster looked like after all the EA Sports uh, roster updates. And if you didn't know, EA Sports gives us weekly roster updates. So um, this is all liable to change. All right, so let me know if this lineup helped you. Be sure to let me know in the chat too and drop a like on this video, man. Until next time, this is Raining Ravens out. Uh, Jesus bless all you guys and go Ravens.